present fellow Toastmasters and most welcome guests. Um, today I will start by reading a quote from Rome Bishop, and it says, um, What if education were less about acquiring skills and knowledge, and more about cultivating the dispositions and habits of mind that students may need for a lifetime of learning, problem solving, and decision making? What if education were less concerned with the end of the year exam and more concerned with who students become as a result of um, This summer I took a class called Historical and Social Historical Philosophical Foundations of Education. When I registered for the class, I was a little bit skeptical about it. I didn't really know what I would be learning in the class. I found out that it inspired me to take a different approach to education. I learned about the different philosophies of Plato and John Dewey and the, ha and the different habits of mind that students should acquire in order to be able to solve problems and be able to work as a team. Um, so first I'm going to talk about the philosophy of Plato. Um, Plato believes that education is a transformation of the soul. So, that leads us to the journey of light and truth. Um, and supposedly we are we are we live in a cave, and the cave is darkness and ignorance. And when we become educated, we see like the light, we see the knowledge, and we can see wisdom. Um, so with this in mind, um, a lot of things that the curriculum in education um, should be uh, the stimulation of the mind and would be more focused on universal rather than practical application. And so this curriculum is very abstract and it's for example what you see in like a university in the honors college. And so it teaches more like philosophy and it's more like liberal arts oriented like St. George's University. Um, and so in contrast, John Dewey is, describes everything that education is life itself. Um, is, he thinks that the goal of education is growth, um, and it's that is the ability to develop. Um, he says that students should, um, should be discovering the world, the world around them, and refers uh, that the school should be like a home where students are um, are being uh, where there's a nurturing environment in which students are learning by experiencing and by doing things instead of just you know being stuck there and reading but actually going outside and learning about different things outside. Um, so for I think that um, today school has become very focused on. Uh, on, on the results, on um, just students, you know, studying for the SAT, studying for the FCAT, and not really knowing why they're studying for that, or just memorizing things, and not really knowing the purpose of it. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that education should be focused more on learning by doing and reflecting on what they have learned. Um, the professor of, when I took the class, told us that they know this that some um, schools now they don't even uh, do they don't even do grades they just um, the professor the, the teacher just writes recommendations for the student of what they learn of what they should improve and they don't even have like a result or a grade <coughs> and so that opened my eyes um, to a lot of, of I didn't know to a lot of maybe problems that education faces today and maybe things that could be improved. Um, the class also taught me about the different habits of mind and we all we work we work together as a team to do a paper and we use different habits of mind. Um, some of them are questioning, being open minding, uh, striving for accuracy, communicating with clarity and precision and taking responsible risks. So these are all habit. There are more habits of mind, but these are all habits of mind that um, students are should learn um, so that when they're working on a project or when they're working uh, as a team, 
um, they are able to solve problems quicker and um, and resolve issues of today, for today. <laughs> um, so, well, I will leave you with um, with another with a quote. It's from the same person. And so we will need to look beyond schools as training grounds for the memory and focus more on schooling as an inculturative process that cultivates the dispositions of thinking. What if we view smartness as a goal that students can work toward rather than as something they either have or don't? We envision education, we envision education in this way implies that we will need to rethink mainly, mainly many of our well accepted methods focus more on schooling as an inculture and focus more on schooling as an inculturative process that cultivates this